Hey guys, I'm David and you're watching Yellow Hammer Woodcrafts. I wanted to take a minute to show you how to build a champagne wall. This is one of my best sellers. I've sold about seven of these so far in two months. This particular design sells for about $600 and I got about $200 in it. So it's $400 and it takes about six to eight hours depending on your skill level. It's a good way to make easy money on the weekends. So stick around and I'll show you how to build it. I had a few people asking for plans for these, so I drew up this plan real quick. Uh, you can pause the video and move the picture around, or you can email me and I'll send you the plans for free. We start out by cutting an eight foot sheet of plywood down to seven feet, because you want this to be able to set up in, eight, in rooms with eight foot ceilings easily and go through doors easily. And then we cut our two by fours to go around the edges this may not be necessary, but I do it just to beef up the champagne wall so it's more sturdy and looks better on the back side. You can look at the plans for the dimensions for the 2x4s. And if you notice on the plans, the 2x4s on the left and right are cut short. This is because when you put your boards on the bottom to hold the champagne wall from tipping over, you want it to be even. So you take off the inch and a half for the 2x4 to fit in that slot. And you'll see what I mean in a minute when I cut the little spaces out and put the boards on the bottom. See right here where I'm cutting this inch and a half out? This is for the boards that go on the bottom. The two by fours for the bottom legs are 24 inches long. That's what I'm cutting now. And I'll show you in just a second how to put these on. When you're cutting two boards the same length, you can put one on top of the other like this to make it quick and then you don't have to measure again. You wanna mark down 11 and three quarter inches on your leg and then draw a line across and then you line that line that you drew up with the top of the two by four like I'm doing here. You see me drawing the line and then when I put the glue on, I can reference the line back to the two by four and I'll know exactly where it goes and then I can screw it in. You wanna put about four or five three inch deck screws in this just so it doesn't move around and use a square to make sure it's straight up and down to the left and right if this is off, then when you put your plywood around it, it's not going to sit right. Now we just move over and do the same thing on the other side. Easy peasy. When you put your angled pieces on the back, you just take your board and line it up like I'm doing here and mark it with a pencil and that's how you get your angles. And then you take it over to the chop saw and line it up with the angle and cut away. And I put glue on everything that I put together. This just helps hold everything and Make sure it doesn't come apart with the deck screws. And then you want to screw two or three screws in the bottom and two or three screws on the top part like I'm doing there. And same on the other side. If you notice in the plans, it calls for three two by twos. I just ripped some uh, two by fours in half for this and you'll see what these are for in just a second. Once you have these scrap pieces cut, you want to mark where this piece will go and draw a line across so you can line it up and then put some glue on it and attach it where it needs to go. Just refer to the plans to see where this will go. And this is to hold the, the bottom top piece. If you look at the plans, I think it's called the bottom top. And now we're ripping that piece down on the table saw. Put some glue on it. I put glue on everything. This just helps hold everything together.
You want to put your screws or your nails as close to the wall as possible. That way your trim will cover these up. And I just put a couple of screws and a couple of brad nails to hold it up. And for the bottom piece, you want to put glue on the top of the bottom. So when you slide this in there, the glue squeezes together and put you a little glue on the bottom part to glue onto that scrap piece that we put down there. Put you a couple brad nails around it and then you're good to go. And set up your table saw for the side pieces. Refer to the plans to see how long these are. And if you cut the squares out, you can take the square over to the wall and put it up against it like this and then mark along the angled two by four and then you'll know where to cut. And then you just take your circular saw and run down the line Put you a little glue around it again and brad nail it on. Do the same to the other side and you're good to go. This next piece that I'm cutting here is just a scrap piece for the top of the wall. We're gonna do the top part the same way as we did the bottom. Put you a little glue on it, brad nail it up. Refer to the plans to see how far down the wall this goes. Put your bottom piece on with a little glue and put your side pieces on. Same as the bottom. A little glue. Brad nail it on. A little more glue. And then put your front piece on. And that's all there is to it. Now for the fun part and probably the most time consuming part. We're gonna make our shelves for our wine glasses or our champagne glasses, whatever you're putting on the wall. I have a template for this. You wanna use an inch and three eighths uh, Foistner bit or a um, paddle bit, spade bit, whatever. And then you wanna mark a line down the center of the board. That way you have something to reference off of and use your template to put on top of the board and mark the holes and then when you get all the holes drilled, you take them over to the chop saw and do like I'm doing here and cut the centers out. If you need um, more instruction on this, just refer to the plans and it'll show you exactly how to cut these. And once you get one cut, you can put it on top of the next shelf and trace it out like I'm doing here. You don't have to trace the hole because you can just stick your Forstner bit in the holes like this and just barely mark it. And then after it's marked, you'll know where to put your point on your Forstner and drill all the way through after that. And you just make four of these. And this is probably the most time consuming part. Like I said, it probably takes about two hours to make all of these. And once you get them all sanded down and cut out, you run your router with a, a chamfer bit around these and this just gives it a nice profile all the way around and then you take and sand it all down and you're ready to put them on and i put these 11 inches down from the top and then i just do every shelf 11 inches after that uh, you can space them however you want if you have some champagne or wine glasses i would suggest using those to figure out your spacing and for the back part, when you screw these in on the back, this is how I get the screws perfectly lined up with the back. Just take your square and run it around the edge to the back and trace you a line all the way across the back. And that way, when you put your screws in, you just line it up on the line that you traced and you know that it'll be perfectly in the center of the shelf every time. Hey, if you stuck with me to the end, I really appreciate it. And one little bonus feature I have for you, this is artificial turf that you can buy on Amazon. They come in 16 by 20 panels or 20 by 20 panels. Uh, you can pick the size on Amazon. Um, not sure the cost, I don't remember, but you can buy a box of these and a box will cover the entire wall. And I'll show you one that I've done with this artificial turf right here. Hey, if you like this video, check out these next two videos and consider subscribing to the channel and hit that little bell icon to be notified of future videos. Thanks for watching.